Welcome to the Crafting Ant channel. I thought it was time for an update video. Please watch till the end where I'll reveal some of my new designs. Let's kick it off with our Campanodos Lateralis. They are still very happy in their piece of wood. The original entrance to the nest has fully been blocked off and they now only use the top entrance. Since they still take in a lot of protein, there should be a good amount of brood. This is our Chromaticasa scutellaris. She has been in the dark for a few months, but as you can see, she is progressing nicely. On to our Pharmaca fusca colony. We got her as a queen two months ago. And now, with five workers and some brood, she is looking good. Next up are our Camponodus nicobarensis. They are in our mesh nest and the growth on these girls is amazing. As you can see, we already have some mages. They also really like to tear up their outworld. Did you know that a lot of people recommend them as a starting species as they are fast growing and easy to keep. Now it's time for our two Camponodus curentatus colonies. And it's not looking good, especially our second queen. She had laid some eggs, but she keep on eating or dumping them. Our first colony is going up and down. She came with two workers and there has been brood, but then it disappeared. And now there's a small amount again. Let's hope they pull through. To maybe join the Menica Rubida challenge, I wanted the taste of the species but I could only find a small colony. So here they are. They are progressing nicely and it's cool to see how active they are. Let's see if I can find a queen somewhere. Remember the maze episode? This is one of the Tetramorium bicarinata queens split off after the race. And she is booming. I have an idea for a nest for her. But that's something for another episode. Look at her five queen sisters brood. They are insane. So much brood. But also so much hunger. Always ants in the outworld looking for food. On to a quiet but nice colony. Our two queen Lasius Flavus. And they are doing awesome. Lots of workers and brood. They are just doing their thing. I was thinking of putting them in a large outworld with another of our species. What do you guys think? Leave a suggestion in the comments. Time for a channel favorite, Camponodus Vagus, with the queen called Beasley. After the last episode, 10 more workers have arrived and the brood just keeps coming. She really needs a nest update. I want to make her a nice wood nest. This will be coming soon. On to our two Messer Barbarous colonies. They both have workers now and after a rough start they are both progressing really good. And then of course our Hapegnatus Venetars. As you saw in the last video they are great. The hunting, the awareness, the jumping the general looks. Now that the eggs are there, it's just waiting for the larvae. And let's not forget about Lasius Niger, our first colony and testers of nests. We have them in different sizes now, and they have been in different setups. For instance, the Tic Tac box which still works and the setup with an outworld. Time for our last Camponotus, Camponotus Ligniperda. We have two nests with workers and brood. Just look at those beautiful colors. And last but not least our three Temnophorex Nylandri colonies. The first and biggest are happy in their new walnut. The second colony is in a small tube where they made the entrance a lot smaller. 
and then our newly found colony that lives in their acorn. But we need to change that setup, because as soon as I open the lid, they run out. Now it's time for some design updates. The food trays I made before were okay, but warping a bit when I was washing them because they were so thin. And they looked a bit boring. The solution? The smiley tray. Since our colonies are also growing, I needed to make some liquid feeders. But it looks so unnatural. Hmm. What about a fake tree stump? And here we are. And don't you worry, you can see the level of the liquid through the crack in the stump. Here are the new queen tube rooms. The tube room itself connected to a feeding area that is now with a new connector that's really tight and loose if necessary. You can get the feeding areas with different amounts of ports. And with the new connector, there's a really strong bond. These are the prototypes and are being tested at the moment. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And see you next time at the Crafting End.